All right, let's see, testing, testing. Mm, that does delay longer. It's longer than it, I would like. Oh, that's fine. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to Xavier and Jab and Live Gaming. I'm Xavier, and today I'm just going to be playing some games on the Virtuate Pocket 3. I'm going to stream some gameplay on the Virtuate Pocket 2 plus, like four or five months ago. Um, so today, I got the Virtuate, I got the Virtuate Pocket 3 a few weeks ago. So I want to stream some on the channel. I like this one a lot more than the other one. And we need to keep a little bit of content on the channel. But we, we will get back on the schedule eventually. Just want to let people know that we're still alive out here. Let me see. Alright, so I'm casting. Well, I'm not casting. I have a HDMI mini plugged into my Virtual Pocket 3. I had that going towards Delgado in my monitor. Um, oof, why does it look like that? Why is it all? I just, this is my first time doing it. it. Looks all, let me see it again. I don't know, it's not white. Why is it not white? It's like X here, white. Let me check the settings. Mm, don't see anything about changing the color there. I don't like I don't like the colors. On my on my retroid, it's white. On my monitor it's white. But when I look at the playback, it looks oh, never mind. <laughs> that's that's my phone setting. I have the setting on where it eases the color so it doesn't hurt my eyes. Alright. Um, so I have the, mostly the game, same games from last time, but I have a few new ones that I found at my, uh, my parents' house. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be playing a lot of this Looney Tunes game. I think it's Sheepdog, Sheepdog, Wolf. Uh, yeah, this one. Or Sheep Raider. What? Oh, it's Sheep Raider starring... Wolf Sam, what? No, no, no. There's, there's, there's a different title. I saw somewhere. This is called Sheepdog Wolf. Or maybe that's just the name of the TV show. Let's see. Is the audio going through? No, I'm just going to talk over it to test it out. Yes, it's a little loud. I'm turning down some. Oh, now it's quiet. I'll, I'll leave it right there. Um, so this game is a, oh, hold on, that's loud in my ear. Okay, this game is a PlayStation 1 game. It's a platformer stealth game. How would I explain it? Um, here, I'll go to the first level, give like an example of what I got to do. You know what? I know I'm casting it to the monitor. I'm just gonna look at my f actual screen here. Oh, shoot! Hold on. I'm not embarrassed myself. I'm lost. Where am I? Okay. Hello, Straggler. I'm doing well. How are you? Um, it's just me today, Japan's, um, well, Japan's not tired, but I'm just, I just want to do a quick stream, just to let people know that we're doing okay, and that we will, we haven't forgot about the channel, we just have no time to stream recently. Is there lag on the playback? No, that's good. Alright, so this game, um, Daffy Duck is hosting a show called Sheep Dog Wolf, that's where I got it from. Um, so our job is to steal a sheep from the dog, Sam the dog, 
um, without him noticing. So I'm going to do the first level just to give an example. Fast forward to these loading screens here. Yeah, this is a platformer puzzle stealth game. You said you're having trouble finding rooms for videos. Um, what, what do you mean, Stragger? Like, like you have enough? You don't have enough room in the house or your apartment? Because I had that issue with playing VR. When you see this icon appear, it means that you are coming out here? for fans uh, area. Daddy. The icon helps you see what you Sam is looking. If it's the well, y'all don't need to watch this. That Sam is... right. So I have to get... One of the sheep from... Whoop! Not a good start. Um, right now, I am emulating the PlayStation 1. Using... What am I using? I'm using the Duck Station. Alright, I have to get a sheep from over the... Oh, I can't jump over this. <laughs> I have to get a sheep from the other side of the island into this circle, and then I win the level. Uh, I haven't played this one in a while. I think I need to get some dynamite. Oh, welcome to the channel. So yes, I was going through my old PlayStation 1 games and then this one uh, came up. And since I've been playing a lot of multiverses recently, um, been when been going back and looking all the Looney Tunes stuff. So I downloaded the two Bugs Bunny platformer games and this one. I'm liking this one more than the Bugs Bunny one. At least the first one. It was Bugs Bunny something to time or something. Was not a fan of the controls. This is from the same developers. I think this one is the. This was like the third one they made. So they made Bugs Bunny, and then they made Bugs Bunny and Taz, and then I think they made this one. So that's probably why this one feels the best. Trying to steal Shamsie's block. Good luck. I grow all kinds of I'm gonna type in the emulate emulate in the chat. Well, if, if for instance, in case y'all wondering which one I'm using. Leadership. If you show it some lettuce. If you do this, this you station cost money. I forget. Come back with your Cause I got it from play the Google, Google Play Store. Le 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 leafy vegetable. Oh, room to record your videos. Okay, I see what you're saying, Track. Hmm. Yeah, it is hard to <laughs> it's hard to find room for stuff like that. Especially if it's on camera. If you're just doing audio, you can just record that in the closet. That's how be, that's how I was recording the, the the podcast with the boys. Oh, I was not listening to my boy. How's where my lettuce? In the following levels, you may find lettuce in places other than gardens. But don't worry, they'll always be shown on your map. Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna give me lettuce. I swear, I've already done his level. Why am I confused right now? You said what, friend? Where my lettuce? Close to him to see me. Oh, okay. I know what to do. I know what to do. This is all coming back to me. I'll just steal one of the dogs first. I mean, not dogs, the sheep. So we've got that helpful camera on the top right. Let's see his point of view. Let's see where his head's facing. Oh, this is 
I'm about to get that sheep right next to him. Once I'm in the green, I think I'm free to run around. Yeah. Uh, you, you managed to take his, his sheep from the uh, flock. Uh, well done. And uh, now I'll show you how to use the. Uh, okay, just need some lettuce. I need the lettuce because that bridge is too heavy to carry me and the sheep. So I need to put lettuce down along the path for the sheep to go. Hey, where are you going? Oh, no, he's, he's good. Got space it some. Ooh, that's... that's Close enough, is it? Hold on, I think that was close enough. There we go, I need one more. One thing I learned while playing this game is that, uh, this <laughs> this wolf is not the wily coyote. Um, it looks identical to him, just has a different color nose. But this wolf's name is Ralph. But he looks identical, and he still uses the same <laughs> wily coyote shenanigans and, and gadgets. Is that too far? That's not too far. Okay, yeah. Now wait for him to get across. Yeah, nice carry him to the circle. Okay, this is the first level. They're just introducing stuff. Um, I'm on level 7, I think, now. And every level they add, they're like adding a new gadget, a new... A new gameplay element, like ice. Like, I'm, I'm in the ice levels right now. I'm not a fan of ice levels in general, just the way they look. I'm wondering when they're going to stop adding new mechanics and just, you know, let me put everything together. I think there's 15 levels total, so they still got time. And then my dynamite from earlier. Well, that's done. No! I killed my sheep? Oh, thank goodness. I thought it was gonna make me do the bridge again. There we go. So now I'm gonna do one of the levels I'm... Whatever level I'm currently on. The great thing about emulation is I can also just speed things up, so I'll have to go through this long walking animation to get back to my spot. Or maybe, is this snow? Did I? I'm, I'm getting confused. I have not done this one. Okay, yeah, I am on seven. This one doesn't look snowy. Maybe I'm done with the snow ones. Hello, Striker. Welcome back. What um, what videos are you uh, recording, Striker? Like, like, what are your videos about? No, oh, this one already looks tough. I'm probably going to spend the whole hour doing this. This is a long level. No, 
my goodness, it's still going. Alright, let's see what gadgets I have for this one. Umbrella, lettuce, and a hair dryer. Let's see. Do little teleporters. I'm going to do a lot of quick saving. <laughs> These checkpoints are not really uh, nice to me. Let me check, make sure that's saved. Good, it's safe. Make sure I get all my stuff first. I need to get the umbrella. I haven't used the umbrella before, this is the first level. Oh, that is, okay. That is a large range. Quick save here. Okay, hold well, on. Now I'm forgetting how to quick save. When I'm pushing L3, it's saving. It's making things go faster. Let me check my settings here. Oh, I didn't save it. Okay. I'm forgetting the button combination I had for save. Is it just this one? Okay, there it is. I have uh, a hotkeys on my on my controller here so I can get through this quicker. Bella is over there somewhere. Turn this down some of my ears, I'm not listening to this. I'll turn it down on the stream too. I'm gonna be here for a while, looks like. That's not the answer. I assumed we had to push this on there. I guess not. It's not letting me go that far. Okay. Is that the umbrella? There go. Got the umbrella. Usually they gave me a little tutorial, or at least uh, Daffy Duck comes and tells me how to use it. Oh, this is a complicated one to do on stream. Maybe I won't do this whole thing. Oh, there's Daffy. Hey, Daffy, help me out here. Okay, Daffy's busy. Okay, I imagine I use this the guide the the sheep later, so I'm not ready for that part yet. I need to get one of the sheep first. Oh wait, I'm missing a hair dryer. Where's the hair dryer? <laughs> Hmm. Let me go back to Daffy. Oh, let me inactivate that. Are you making a path for me, Daffy? Oh, was that for me? Oh, oh. Wait, no, I wasn't ready. Oh no, I need the I need the hair dryer for that. Okay. I can't, this that can't be the right way. I think I need the hair dryer to move my propel myself while I'm on that ice cube. So let's see how this umbrella works. They gave me a tutorial. They probably gave me a short description here though. Okay, I need the 
for square. Okay, nice and easy. Nope, oh, I didn't get enough air time last time. Alright. Oh, wait, what did it shoot me out of? Oh, I see. That's why he's here. Okay, <laughs> thank you. So that's why I'm going to do a quick save. Before that section, so I don't have to go through it every time I fail. So I'll quick save right here. making these. Oh, I should have quick save right there. No. No, you can make it. You can make it. It's okay. It's okay. That's why we saved. Do I need to deactivate it and turn it back on? Can I do this multiple times? Oh, I can do it multiple times. Okay. Maybe that would help me. Okay. I'm doing, I'm doing a quick save here. Okay, yeah, that was the answer. I had to mash square. They made me go through so many. And quick save here. Okay. So let's see. We have Sam there, but I don't see any sheep near. So I guess I just have to sneak past him. Nice and clean. Get out of his radius. Alright. But where's the sheep? Shoot. Where'd that go? I, I looked away for a second. I'm <laughs> turning the game down again. This is not a nice thing to hear in my ear. Oh, there's a sheep behind the ice wall. But I can't get over this. Okay. What's up here? I can climb this one, though. Another quick save. Oh, hold on, hold on. My laptop's running slow. Let me put it on performance mode. Oh, same with this. Why is this on? That, that should be fine, I think. Okay. Quick save. Hey, right, come on, do it. Oh, I can speed things up. Oh, why did I mean to do that?
Oh, I thought it was going to turn into... Okay, I see. Speed up. Can I make that one? Can I make that one? <gasps> Nothing can be over either. Oh, there's... I just had to go inside. I see. Take this one. Huh? Put you right there. Now let me now let me put it up there. Put you in this. Uh oh. Shoot! No. Okay. Where's it gonna take me? It's not that far back. Okay. So that portal goes to that one. So I need one that goes into this right here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't think he was looking this way. Let's just save a little bit of time. That should have went right there. Oh, he, he hurt me. I forgot he can hear me. Probably will need to use this to get over there. Quick save here. Yeah, he's really confused by that. Okay, so we don't want to go through that one. I'll quick save in here. I'll go through this one instead to see where it takes me. Okay, here we go. Now, how do I get this bad boy over there? Can't jump that high. I'm losing some frames as well. I wonder what's on the screen is slowing it down. Put that there. Save here. I'll test this hole. Oh, look, there's the dryer. Oh, yeah. Of course, I could have gone in there. Where is this? This is the beginning of the level? I, I'm, I'm forgetting. No, I've not been here before. Okay, I think I need to bring the sheep this way. Go back. Well, no, no, I'll explore more this way, just to make sure. This uh, geyser? Nope. No, so stop it. Okay, can't push it that way. So I'm going this way. Just take me. Oh, what? I'm back where I started. I right, must have made a wrong turn. I'll go back in there. We block the other one. No, I can't move it that far. Yeah, so I have to block this one. Or do I have to block any of them? Let's put it right here. Hmm, where's this take me? Nope, I see. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. So it does not come out with that. Not blocked. Yeah, okay, so I have to take the boulder off this one. Looks like. Can this go left and right? Nope, no, 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 no! And I guess it doesn't hurt to block the other one. <laughs> Alright, you look at that hitbox. I didn't have to touch that. No, that's, no, no. Might have been just a glitch. I thought I saw it spray for a second. Unblock that one. Let me save here. Let me see, test this again. Can I move on in the air here? Hmm. Let me try with the umbrella. But why would I even go over there then? If, like, I don't think I can use the umbrella with the sheep. Oh, whoops. I didn't activate it last time. Mm, hello, Nika Chica. Oh, no, you, you're good, Nika. Um, I imagine it doesn't send the notification out that with our, <laughs> our crazy streaming schedule, or lack thereof. I wonder why my phone didn't make a no or my laptop didn't make a noise, though, when you sent that message. Okay, I'm a little lost, which is concerning because this is a baby game. It shouldn't be that hard. I'm gonna push it towards that over. Oh no, I couldn't block the. Yeah, I'm gonna keep pushing this one. Oh, I already tried that. I can't. Okay, what am I missing here? There's no reason for me to go over there if it's just gonna send me back to the beginning. Sometimes I forget. One of my abilities is when I sprint, I can sprint for like a few meters off the edge of a uh, the ground before he realizes there's no floor like that. Yeah, so what's over here? Nothing over here. Why would I come over here? Unless did I come all this way just for the hair dryer? I think I went all that way just for the hair dryer. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about going there anymore. But why would they even do a puzzle if I could have just ran across that gap? Where are the ice cubes at? Where are the ice cubes coming from? Is not like this section. I'm losing some frames right here. Alright, let's speed things up. Get the ice cube come back. Ice cube. There it is. I doubt this will work. Yep. Um, alright, alright. I'm getting close. <gasps> oh, that's it. No, no, no. Because Daffy's going to pick both of us up, I think, maybe.
So what's the hair dryer for? Oh, okay. It's all it's all coming together. Let me let me go back. All right. So. I'm going to throw the sheep in there. He'll turn the ice. I need to run across. Daffy's going to pick up the sheep and put it down. But then the ice is going to slip right back into the water. So I'll need to melt the ice cube with the hair dryer before it slides back into the water. I think that's the answer. Closer. And we'll speed things up. There we go. Okay, so that other route was just to get the hair dryer. But why would I need to move the boulder if I could have just Or maybe that war that war pool wouldn't have even opened up without the boulder blocking the other path. Alright, now I gotta guide the sheep across this. Okay. So I'll block them one at a time. Let me save, I'm afraid if I push this, I'm immediately gonna get thrown off. Oh no. here is the sheep smart enough not to walk into that gust of air let's see do you see it push a little closer <laughs> all right, all right. Did I save? I think I saved. Let me go back. Okay, are you gonna are you gonna go into that air? Yep. Okay, he's not smart enough to avoid that. So we're taking the long way. Why do I have this um? What am I doing? This lettuce. Then? I didn't need to use this for this puzzle. Oh, I see. So I am missing something. I don't think I'll be able to get back to that boulder. Yeah. Okay. Let me think. Let me think. Oof, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with just starting fresh. So I need to use the lettuce somehow to have him move along with me. But he's gonna walk into the air and kill himself if he sees the lettuce too soon. Okay, this is the last part of the puzzle. I feel like it has to be, why? Let me, let me test it again. What? I thought he, he would be a little smarter than that. Well, I'll put him here. Put the lettuce right here. Okay, he's not coming for it. Oh, nope, he's coming for it. Okay. Hmm. What's what's the solution here? Because I won't be able to jump back and forth. It's gonna take too long, I think. I'll try to I'll try that method again. Cause I did take a break to put the lettuce down. Oh wait, can I glide with my umbrella right here? 
Let me let me finish this attempt first. Okay, the Arctic already came out, so that it's probably already blocked for me to go back through. Yeah, it's already blocked. So maybe I need to use the umbrella to glide across. Hmm, that did not give me the height I wanted. Did I save? No, I didn't. Let me try again. Maybe I didn't, I didn't jump high enough. I'll give it that double jump. No, oh, I can't double jump with this. I can only jump once. Hmm, that's not high enough. Hmm. Alright, I'm missing something. It has something to do with lettuce. But what could it possibly be? Because he goes through the air. And they gave me, there's five things of lettuce. One, two, three, four, five. And there's exactly five spaces, so it has to be. What do I gain from this? Um, can I put lettuce down and it eats it up? Oh, I don't think the hair dryer would blow lettuce though. No, it won't. I can't get too close, so it's gonna suck me in. Yeah, shoot. Oh man. How long have I been streaming? I can't, I can't spend too much time on this one level. This is supposed to be a baby game. Definitely can't double jump at you, right? No, I cannot. Can he? All right. Maybe he can smell the. Is I gonna kill you? Let's go back. Maybe he can spell the lettuce from over there. Okay. So say I put lettuce down right here. Can I like blow the scent of the lettuce tool? That doesn't make sense. I've, I've done something like that similar in a different level, like blowing a scent to the sheep, but it was not the lettuce. I don't think it was lettuce, it was something else. Well, that lettuce messed me up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he can't smell it from there. Can't get any closer. Can I make that double jump from the bottom? <gasps> oh, I can make that jump. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oops. Then why do I have this lettuce? Why would they give me lettuce if I don't need... 
I don't even know what part of the puzzle would I have used it for if it wasn't for this. I had no problem getting the sheep out of there without lettuce. From underneath Sam's nose. Oh! No! <laughs> what, what happened? Okay, maybe, maybe I'll move too slow. Oh, I didn't even move this guy yet. Oops. Okay, maybe that's what the lettuce for. So he'll move to me immediately so I don't have to grab him. Oh, why am I getting torn up? I'll come all the way over here. Okay, yeah, I did not need lettuce at this level. They just gave it to confuse me. Ooh, okay. Well, you can see how the game's difficulty increases <laughs> compared to how long it took me to complete that level to the first level. Okay, I'm going to save here and we'll try another game out. So I've been able to get most of the games that I want to emulate properly. The ones I'm still working on, I guess, are the ones on the GameCube. Wonderful. I'm still playing around with those settings, so I guess I'll play some of those to see. Always got to make sure I actually close those out. When I exit the game via the on-screen command here, it doesn't actually close the application out. It's like it's still running in the background. Okay. So I have a few GameCube, here, GameCube games here. A lot of them don't work, which is understandable. GameCube, PlayStation 2, I don't expect those to run on this small device. But some of them do. I need to play around the settings some more. The last time I tried X-Men Legends, and I got it to work just barely, but there was some lag. So I've given up on X-Men Legends, which is, eh. I guess I guess I'll play with balance some settings some more, but that one was not up to par. Which is a shame, because I prefer X-Men Legends 1 over X-Men Legends 2. Um, I have X-Men Legends 2 Rise of the Apocalypse, but I didn't know they made this game for the PSP. So I'm just going to get that. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I tried Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Terrence, it was not great. Let me see. I didn't spend too much time, though. I'll look at the settings here. Hello, Terrence. And welcome to the stream. I did a quick one. Well, not a quick one, a random one to make sure everyone knows we out there, that we're still out here and we're still uh, still alive. Well, you know why we're not streaming, Terrence. I, I, we haven't made it public to the channel yet, but you know why we're not streaming. Eventually, we'll get a schedule down. Could we still I want to finish all those games? There's been a new uh, Monkey Island game that came out last week, and we don't want to play that one to finish the other ones on the channel first. I already forgot what we're playing. Rolled 96 bug snacks, and there was a third one. Oh, yeah, that Guardians of the Galaxy game. I'm fine being as long as y'all. I don't think we're finishing that. That Guardians of the Galaxy game has the worst superhero gameplay I've ever had experienced in my life. Okay, so far, it's looking good. <laughs> I know the game hasn't started yet, so maybe it's too soon.
I didn't have anything notification. What did it say on top of the screen? It's, it's gone. No, Sockhead! Where are we gonna get enough ice to make snow cones? I'm sure we could locate sufficient frost shavings in the backyard coolers of the neighborhood kids, Eddie. I am cool like a cabbage, guys. <laughs> Again, is all just a cutscene? Still too soon, the judge. What's that little gray bar on top? <laughs> okay, it's not great, but that's it's still pretty good for this small device. Yeah, I'll change the resolution to see if that helps. Uh, can we shut Johnny up? No, not Johnny. Jimmy. Jimmy, please. Look, guys, there's a cooler by Jimmy. You finally have a chance to use your hand. Jimmy, please stop. Tell that cooler who's gone. I think I'm gonna be sick. I think I'm gonna be sick. No, I don't think. I don't think I can stream this one, Terrence. Not with Jimmy just making noises the whole time. Not too bad. I, I put the res resolution at 50%. Let me put it at one to see how slow that is. I know this is going to destroy my device. Oh, even at one, that's not too bad. Hold on a second. That's still no, oh no, that's still 30 frames. That's that's not too bad. I'm not expecting 60 frames from something like this. It looks like Jimmy shut up, so that's good. Nope, oh, never mind. <laughs> Let me give him whatever he wants. I can't, I can't tell if this is if this was on purpose or if this is the emulation. <laughs> I don't think that was on purpose. All right, maybe Ed and Eddie's not gonna work. But this part right here, this is looking real good. It's nice and smooth. <laughs> I'll, I'll experiment with this some more. I think I can get this to work if I play around with some more of the settings. But I can I can feel my device burning up right now. I gotta get out of here. It's burning up in my hands. Let me, what's the, hold on. I can look at the temperature on the side, I think. Where is it at? Oh, maybe this open. Or maybe it's gone because I'm playing on full screen. Usually when I, if I'm not like, I can see my fingers. When I swipe on the right side of the screen, it brings up some stats for the device. Looks like I can't do that when it's plugged into the TV. But I can feel my device heating up, so I will not be playing that one. Let me look at some of the other ones. Um, I have not tested Shrek 2 yet. Oh, it's already set to the resolution of one. They're wild for that. I'm right back. I need to turn on the light in my office. Okay, I'm back. That edit editing one did play better than I thought, and I'm pretty sure I can get out the work. I suit the play with some more settings. I'll look at the community Excel sheet. Someone probably have, might have already got it to work and they might have the settings out there for me to grab. Okay, already saw frame eight drops. So let me go ahead and lower the resolution. I'll bring it down to 70. Well, Shrek 2 is not looking good. Can't even handle turning pages. Come on, let's go. Give me the game. Newlywed fever continued to rise in the swamp, and deer fever. I don't need the lore. Come on. 
Her parents invited her oh. and Shrek to follow Could you not skip cutscenes back then? The man, Shrek. When did Shrek 2 come out? 2000 for their long journey. Shrek 2? 2004? Shrek some essentials for the trip. I feel like Shrek 1 came out in 2000. Look, I don't want to be late. Then I need help collecting eyeballs. It'll be a long journey and nobody wants to see me hungry. Why don't we just get some parfait? You know, ones with whipped cream. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I don't think these are the original voice actors. Not parfait. Be sure to collect all of the eyeballs for snacks on your trip. Yeah. Well, why, does, why does Shrek look so sad? They couldn't give him a better character profile? Over here, okay, this is running at 20 frames. This is not... Shrek was 04? Okay. Well, I remember playing this game with my um my cousin Trey when I was a kid. It was a two-player. Has that uh, X-Men Legends character swap, right? Maybe not. Can I not switch characters? Oh, I can. It's, it's uh, R2. Okay, I don't want to do that move. You just messed up my hair. Sorry. Okay, this is running pretty good. See, this is all without me, like, adjusting settings. This is just default settings. At 70% resolution, it's still... Eh. It's okay for default settings. I imagine if I toyed with the settings some more, I can get it to work a lot better. Well, not if people have moves like that. It is not like that. That effect it's doing on the air is not liking that. Shrek was 01. I thought Shrek was 2000. Hey, where'd Amir go? Uh, which, which button is X on the GameCube? Triangle? Press yeah. the attack button to attack a snail and collect its eyeballs. They couldn't even get the mirror voice actor. <laughs> Why? I can't Shrek can't eat the snail themselves. Why do they need the eyeballs? Oh, Seems so sick ripping the eyeballs out like this. Some characters like Gingerbread Man can jump higher than others. <laughs> okay. It looks good. On, it look like it looks good on my Metroid screen. My Metroid screens. Uh, I don't have a ruler, but I'm an engineer, so I should be able to guess. Uh, four, five inches. Let's say five inches. So it looks good on the Metroid screen, but I imagine like on a computer monitor, it does not look great. Terrence, so are you watching on your phone? Does it look good on the phone? If you're watching it in just like vertical mode, not widescreen, landscape. The gingerbread man was my favorite character when I was a kid. In in this game. Only because of his high jump. I I love uh, platforming. Okay, why not come up here, boys? When I come up here, why well, am I having trouble with baby games today? Why not come up here? Oh, you're not an eyeball. Thanks to you. <coughs> Could you rescue my six brothers as well? No. If you're trapped here at Shrek Swamp, it must be for a good reason. I think I've had enough for now. I mean, this is a good option. If I play around with the settings, I can get this to work. Well, I don't know. I think it's this one, this donkey move right here. What was it? Triangle? Square? Ooh, square. That is not good. That little aftershock effect is tanking the frame rate. I wonder what I would even do to change that. See the graphics. Hmm. Those are, those are the settings I want. I'll, I'll need I'll need to play around with some more. Like enable frame skip and stuff. Oh, does this emulator have frame skip? It doesn't.
and I look at the community, um, the community Google Doc that has a lot of retroid emulation settings for different games. So some of them already, already did the math and found the perfect combination. Um, I did try the Incredibles. It did not look good. I've not tried any of the Fury Up appearance. Which one's the first one? It's probably going to go easier on it. I believe Breaking the Rules came out first. That one took place in his house for the most part. And I think the sequel took place in like Gor Gorgon Von... What's the name? Gorgon Von Strangle? Gorgon... Gorgon Von Strangle's Lair, and I was disappointed because the house was more fun to explore. Okay, so it didn't look too bad. Thank you, Terrence. Well, for the purposes of the Retroid, I think I think it looked, it looked good, good enough for me to be playing, you know, a GameCube mobile. With the hardware that the Metroid has compared to like a Stream Deck. <laughs> okay, I'm already having audio issues. I see <laughs> Timmy's outer lines going in and out of reality. So, not a good start. <laughs> now you're thinking this audio is from <laughs> it's from the emulation um, but it's not that's just how the game sounded back then terrible audio compression I remember yeah so this isn't this is an emulation this is just how the game sounded back then I wonder why Timmy's outline is disappearing, but everyone's outline is not. I wish we'd have to follow those stupid rules. You got it. I'm betting this isn't good news. I'm betting this is really great news, but I'm not expecting much. It says here that your wish broke the rules so badly that the next person to touch them will feel the wish power of a fairy stupid enough to grant such a silly wish. What? Why is that? Why would that be a rule? No. Wouldn't that just make things worse? No. <laughs> it's just, Terrence. That's not. That's not the emulation. That's just how the game. If you look, look after this is over, look up a video of Fear Your Parents breaking the rules, and you'll watch this cutscene again. And like full HD, it's gonna sound exactly the same. But I'll go ahead and skip this cutscene. Oh, I can't skip the cutscene. Did, could we not skip cutscenes back then? My retroid is burning up right now. I can feel it. Oh, look, here's the thing. You can see the temperature right there. I guess it's not that bad. But it feels worse than what it's saying right there. Oh, I can skip by just mashing uh, with circle buttons. It's a circle. <laughs> Please, get me out of here. Let me play the game. Oh. <gasps> Now I'm looking back. This is also a thing I didn't like about the game. There are these long, like, 10-minute cutscenes between each mission. Except this is worse. I didn't even get in the game yet. What? Let me get into the mission. Oh, my view. Oh, this is running pretty well. 30 frames. Oh, I can't jump high and you can jump twice. It's twice as much fun. 
No, it's not. It's not too bad. Hold on a sec. Like I said, it all looks bad on the stream, but Im imagine this shrink down to a little a five-inch device. At least it looked really bad on, on my monitor, my curved monitor. 32 inches. Hey, stop interrupting me. I know, I know, it's a baby game. But this is, this is, this is fun and smooth. Like I said, that audio, that's, that's just part of the game. Emulation can't fix that. Okay, this is, this is doable. Besides Timmy's um, outline disappearing, this is not too bad. Did every uh, child? I was a listening, guys. Now, how do we uh, shoot? How do I sneak? Did all these kids get me to have stealth mechanics back then as well? Cause I remember in SpongeBob, you had to sneak past sleeping robots as well. Shoot, I wasn't listening to them. How do I? How do I sneak? Why it moves slow like this? I did? Did I do it? I guess so. <laughs> okay, what was the what was the issue there? Okay, <laughs> what what just hit me? Okay, yeah, this is this is good. I'm gonna well, let me get all five stars first, so I know what to do when I come back. I'll save here, so I can skip that long cutscene next time. All right, so that 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 was not too bad. I'm gonna assume this one's gonna be the same because there's the same uh same company, the developers. So yeah, GameCube games, um, it's a hit or miss. Um, these ones are already narrowed down, so like I deleted a lot of them, just flat out couldn't even get to like the main menu. The one that surprised me the most is Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Um, I haven't had really any issues with Hulk, and I'm confused, because this is an open world game, where I can pick up cars and break them in half and jump around and stuff. I don't know why this can handle this, but it can't handle, um... Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Okay. Okay, well, now is... No, no, see? Look at that. Look how much smoother this one is than what we were just playing. I oh, know, there's some lag right there. <laughs> I did love this one when I was a kid as well. Look at him, look at him running. Hey, come back. You're running faster than Hulk. No, oh, what you made me do. <laughs> okay, well, the game can't uh, can't handle that. That was a really big explosion. Well, this is again with this the default settings. I haven't changed anything yet. Yeah, okay, I'm bringing the resolution down to fifty percent. No, 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 let's bring it to fifty. See, I can't really tell the difference. Well, I can tell a little bit, but it's not really bad on the Retroid screen. That did help the frame rate. Let me try and jump. So yeah, 50% does really help compared to the 70%. And then I can't grab and run. I 
<laughs> you survived that punch to the face from Hulk? No, this man's already dead. Oh, his legs are moving. Hey, what's going on? How are you surviving this? Okay, now he's dead. What are you, super soldiers? Maybe I need to finish the combo to film. Bravo three. Hulk has me Here, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna do that giant explosion again at 50% resolution to see if that made a difference. Where's that, uh, right here. Oops! I meant to throw it. Okay. Okay, let's see. There's a frame drop, but I wasn't as bad as the first one. So, yeah, 50% is working well. And I can probably get it better if I tweak, uh, tweak some more settings. Alright, yeah, so just so. GameCube. Um, it's not as easy as, like, the PlayStation 1, but I can get it to work. Now, one I didn't have last stream was the Dreamcast. I don't own too many Dreamcast games, but I do got that Marvel vs. Camcom 2. Let's go load that. Capcom 2. Now I'm not gonna, I'm only gonna just show it because I am, I forgot all the controls for this game. Up a push to be into the way. Hey, you can't forget the song. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Hmm, my favorite characters when I was a kid. I didn't know half the Capcom people, obviously. But I knew all the Marvel characters over here. I liked Wolverine and Spider Man. Thanos has interesting super moves. Who knows who else is playing? I really like Blackheart, but I think I just like his design. I remember the Sentinel having some crazy combos that make him one of the best characters in the game. But like I've said, I've lost all my um, my moves. I don't remember doing any of them. Um, little, I like <laughs> BB Hood. I like BB Hood, but I think I prefer Dan on this side. I think he was my favorite one. No, 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 no. I'm forgetting my team. Chill, roll. Bone. Well, from what am I saying? I'm not actually gonna play. I'm just gonna show that it works. This one doesn't look too bad. This is a this is well, I guess a Dreamcast would fall. I'll fall what PlayStation One kind of sorta. They use the Dreamcast mostly to like the port, like arcade cabinets, right? I am hearing some audio issues though. Let me turn it down some. This hurt my ears. Um, I don't think this em emulator is as customizable as the other ones. I don't know if I can change too much in here. Uh oh, what did I just do? I broke something. Okay, well maybe this one uh, still needs work, work too. 
What was going on? Oh, did the Dreamcast not have trigger buttons? I'm pushing the trigger button. Maybe it doesn't know what to do when I do that. Oh, well. That destroyed my frame rate. So it can't handle super blue. If I haven't played it too much, I just put it on here. Okay, yeah. I, I gotta get out of here. Is there sort of my use? I'll play around with some more. But it's not too bad. Maybe I can just play without the sound effects. Because it feels fine. But the sound effects are really hurting my ears right now. Chat set. Radio. I was having trouble. I think it was running well. I just, I'm just terrible at playing the game, the actual game. I can't, I can't even get past the tutorial. Okay, never mind. If I'm not in the tutorial, I'm not going to show it right now. And Crazy Taxi 2. That one worked. That one didn't have an issue. I think this one was fine. Let me see, did I make a save? Yeah, get me in there. The taxi two is party time. Let's have some fun. All right, I gotta remember the controls. Go ahead and pick a car and driver. So, oh, can I play this music? Let me turn it down. The music might be a uh, copyright. Well, maybe I can't play this game on stream then. Uh oh, I would change gears. There we go. Get in. Hey, <laughs> um, hold on. There we go. Yeah, hold your horses. We're gonna get there. They used to play take, uh, Crazy Taxi all the time at like arcade places. Chuck E. Cheese? Chuck E. Cheese, Dave Busters. Is this not it? Come on. Move, ladies. They really succeed in this game, though. You need to actually know the map <laughs> and where these locations are. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna make some of these time limits without knowing exactly where things are on the map. Oh, that was too bad, though. I thought the red ones were more difficult. Okay, it's definitely copyrighted music. Why? <laughs> that wasn't my fault. The trains, I mean, the buses crossed the street like that. Ah. Easy. What? I didn't accept you. Make that right. I'm already about to fail. What? Wait, wait. Where is it? No, no. Ooh, that was a close one. What? I did. I made it. I made it. All right. I definitely made that. Um, Sim Sims Hit and Run. I do have that one, Terrence. I'm, I have not tested that yet. Let's see, that's on the GameCube. That one's just driving though, right? Similar to Crazy Taxi? 2003, shouldn't be too graphically advanced. at 50% resolution. Uh, 
a GTA type game. Okay. I didn't play this one too much when I was a kid. Maybe at a friend's house. My friend Spencer, elementary school, was a fan of The Simpsons. I I still have only seen a handful of episodes of Simpsons. I've seen the movie, but I was not a Simpsons boy. I don't even think my parents didn't allow me to watch it. I just didn't. I just don't like the yellow. I watch Futurama though. I love me some Futurama. I'll turn the game back up. Are, are these uh, robot bees part of the Simpsons canon? Are they aliens? What's his language on the screen? This cutscene's already running a lot better than the Fairy Our Parents one. Unless he was supposed to be speaking English right there, because I did not understand him. Hey, hey! I'm endorsing a new cola, kids! And this one isn't poisonous to anybody! That we know of. New and improved Buzz Cola is made from only the finest sugars and waters. Plus, it has a special ingredient, too hot, for the FDA! It'll give you the get up and go. You need to do all the pathetic stuff you have to do. Try new improved. When did this one come out? Oh, 2003, I saw it. When did um, GTA 3 come out? Was that 2002? Did this come out after GTA 3? Because I know Jack and Daxter, or Jack 2, also made it. GTA S game, um, which is a big departure from the first game. Jack and Axter was just like a trade up right, platformer collectathon, but then, G I mean, then Jack 2 became GTA S after GTA 3 came out. Okay, I don't need tutorials. Alright, I'll say it again. It looks great on the actual retro screen, but I imagine it does not look good on the monitors of a computer. It's running pretty smooth. I'm hitting above 30 frames. Okay, maybe I should listen to the tutorial. Oh, so this is open world. That I'm surprised even more to stay able to handle it. Oops. This is the canon like layout of Springfield. Nothing lasts forever. Okay, we got a drift. I am Losing rotten karmic retribution. Okay, I've only played it for like a minute, but this is this feels nice. Feels fine on the retroid. Yeah, I'm not getting really any frame drops, am I? I mean, it's not a consistent 30 frames. I wonder if I can lock it at 30 frames. That would help. I'm not going to mess with the settings on the screen right now. Unless there's less a quick option. Can I lock frames? Okay, I don't see the option to lock frames here. I'll, I'll look later. But if I can lock it at 30, this, this will be fine. It feels like. Okay, I'm guessing the mission was inside the house. Okay. Yeah, I'm in the wrong neighborhood. Let's see you do better. Um, GTA 3 came out 2001? Oh, that's crazy. Why are they still making games for the PlayStation 1 after the PlayStation 2 came out? Uh, Terrence Kern, the bees are aliens. Or they're 
devices from Alien World, okay? Is that Alien World canon in Futurama? Oh, wait, I think I've seen the aliens before. They're like green tentacle blob type things. I didn't, I didn't play this Simpsons game, but I played the Simpsons game demo for PlayStation 3. And I think I remember those aliens showing up in the background as you're fighting a giant robot as Bart. Or Bartman. And he's wearing Batman's outfit or something. Where's my house? Can I sneak around the backyard? Nope. <laughs> Oops. This is running like it should, Terrence. This, this is what you pictured when you played it when you were a kid. Where is my house? Did I get that far from my house? I'm gonna, I'm gonna reenact the opening credits. Oh. I thought the garage was gonna open. Oh, you got double jump? Oh, that's crazy. What you got double jump for? What you about to do in this? We got platforming? Now I need, I'll definitely, I'll play this game off stream. I thought this was just like a crazy taxi game. I didn't know you actually could walk around. Now I get up there. I got it. <laughs> Isn't that my swing? Why would I break it? Come on, grab it. Are there upgrades in this game as well? Why can't I get this? Oh, I got it. Okay, so I'm just destroying my house. I see. This is my house, right? This isn't Flanders' house. Yeah, this is Flanders' house. I'll break his stuff. Oh, is this Flanders' house? What is this? I'm guessing these coins aren't rare. I'm about to hit a hundred. Does Flanders have like a secret bunker? I, like I said, I did not watch the the show. Probably don't want to leave the house without your car because the home was pretty slow. What you want, Lee? Oops, <laughs> I was I was trying to speak. Most of why is no? There's some terrible bad law physics. Not terrible, just they probably made it comically funny on purpose. <laughs> what you want? Homie, somebody ate every dessert in the house. I need you to run to the store and pick up some of that ice cream with the miniature pies in it. Well, it must have been one of our kids. Probably Milhouse. Okay. Yeah, Terrence said it looked better when he was a kid, but it looks okay for this small little baby device. Yeah, I'm surprised. I don't think it should even be able to run this. I'm, I am surprised it's handling it right now. I did not listen to Marge. I'm just going to follow the arrows here. Oops. Excuse me, guy. You, he, he saw me get in the car. He shouldn't move. Take a little shortcut here. Can I jump on the car? My crazy taxi? So I just made that up. I don't know where I got the link between Sim Sim's hidden button and crazy taxi. I actually have to get out the car. Oh, wow. Oh, this game's wild. Okay, so the coins are for costumes and other cars. All right, all right. I'm hitting 60 frames right now. Let, let me um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the resolution up to one. Let's see what happened. Oh, look at that! It's still 60. It's 50 frames. Congratulations, Homer. Mission complete. Go back home and talk to mom to start the next mission. Look at this. This is this look real good. 
How much this shirt cost? Is that the shirt I'm wearing right now? Oh, oh. Let's go ahead and buy the the casual. Here we go. Okay, let's see what the open world looks like at one resolution. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is working just fine. Look at that. How about now, Terrence? This is a lot better, right? Okay, that's a lawsuit. I have road rage and I know how to use it. Oh, wow. Okay. I wonder what makes this game... Why could it handle this game, but it couldn't handle Fairy Appearance? This just seems a lot more bigger than Fairy Appearance was. Okay, no, I'm hitting below 30. But this is at one resolution. I can turn this down. Okay, yeah, Terrence, Terrence confirmed. This looks closer to what it was before. What he remembers, at least. And I was fine for being at 0.5. So if I do play this, I'll probably put it... I'll probably be in the middle. Bring it down to point, eh, point eight. And even that looks fine. Wow. Okay. Well, wait. I, oops. Back. <laughs> Can people die, or am I just hitting them and they're fine? I was, I kept driving, so I didn't see if those corpses were disappearing or not. And they let me buy my underwear in the beginning of the game. That's nice. All right. I'll put some on this. This is a. Uh, this is approved. Works on a retroid. You can handle this open world game, but it couldn't handle Shrek 2. But I was able to handle Hulk as well, so I wonder why open world games are working better than linear platformer games. You tried, we tried Scooby Doo last stream, I think. Okay, how long have I been streaming? <laughs> Darren said they'll be fine. You just hit him pretty far the car. <laughs> Alright, that's good. As long as I'm not killing anybody. Um, yeah, last stream I showed off the PSP. I just wanted to show the Dreamcast, really. I was not expecting me to take that long on that first game with the Looney Tunes. Um, what's a good example of the PSP? I'm having trouble with Star Wars um, Force Unleashed. I haven't been able to get that one to work correctly. It can't handle the sound or the... I'll show you real quick. Whenever I use like the force, like force push or force pulse, it like creates like a black... I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It can't handle it. I need to play around with the settings some more. Which is a shame because I really want to play this. You yeah, see that? That little effect around the lightsaber. I mean, it plays fine, 30 frames, but it, for some reason it can't handle the effects of the lightsaber or like you doing force pushes and slams. Let me see if I can do one, like that. Now if I turn off that little black, I can turn off that black graphic error thing, but when I do that the frame drops to like 15 and 30. So I can play just fine, just, I don't like looking at the force push like this. But I'm able to play games like X-Men Legends 2 just fine. Most PSP games I've been having no issue with. Star Wars The Force Unleashed is the only one I've had an issue with so far. This is the beginning of the game still. Yeah, this, yeah, this is um hitting 60 frames, no problem. But I really want to play X-Men Legends 1. I prefer X-Men Legends 1 over X-Men Legends 2. I just like coming back to the X-Mansion after every mission. I'm playing as Allison, Chessmere, or Magma. In this one, there's no, like, main character. And I miss that element. Oh, I'm lining people up right now. This mine is so weak. The nice thing about the emulation 
is a lot of them had built-in cheats for games. So for this one, let me see. So I have the cheat on to change the resolution, but it's probably cheats for like max, yeah. So I can like max out character stats by just clicking this little check mark here. Let me see if it works. I haven't actually tested it. I don't want to play the game like that. It's going to make it a little too easy. What else can I do? Characters, cinematics. Let me do money. Can hit for the health and energy. See if that works. See if that crashes the game. Yeah, see now if you look at the bottom right, I have unlimited energy. Use my claws non-stop. That's probably easy to show us. You know, you're not supposed to be able to shoot non-stop like this. That's why I do like the emulation is to cheat for games like this. <laughs> I probably won't play this game with these on though. That's gonna make it too easy. Let me see if they gave Wolverine all his stats. No, he's still level one. But I have max monies, you see in the bottom left, and a max um, health health kits or health potions, whatever they're called. Okay, no, they didn't. Like, oh no, no, I have a nine hundred ninety nine points, so I can max them out. I pushed the auto button. Oh, it's still there. It was infinite. Okay. Let me just bump it up to 150 real quick. See how fast he moves. But it didn't level him up, so I can't unlock all my skills yet. Oh, but the ones I do have unlocked, they maxed them out for me. But I do need to level them up to actually get some of the better skills. Let me see how fast he moves now. Sure thing. What? 100 points? And this is how fast? Did I not push the options? It didn't. It did save it. That's how fast I move. Oh, speed does not affect movement speed. I see. Okay, I thought it affected movement speed. I haven't played Expert Legends 2 in a long time. Oh, no. I can probably one shot all these guys now. Let me just test it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna play these cheats on, but they're just nice to have. So I have the option if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, I guess those are all the emulating I'm gonna do today. Um, let me know in the comments if you have a certain game you want me to test, and I can let you know if it works or not. If you don't have a Retroid yourself, how long have I been streaming? Chad's been using the cheeks to track for me. It's been a little over an hour and a half. Oh wait, no. Yeah, about an hour and a half. I'm, I'll do I'll do a quick uh, dead cell one. I'll download dead cells on here. It looks nice on it. I've been waiting to get dead cells for a long time, but it looked like a perfect like mobile game, and I, and I didn't want to put it on Switch. Because I can't fit the switch in my pocket. Here, let me change my settings so I don't have to look at my device anymore. Uh oh, but now I ought to get back. There we go. Alright, I'll do a quick uh, dead cell run. Oh, I'm not good at the game, so don't judge me. I've only been playing it, so keep track for me. Hmm. 
I probably only had the game for a few days. So I'm still learning all the enemies and when to dodge properly and stuff. Like, I'm surprised I even parry that. I'm having trouble with those guys because their attacks are kind of delayed. Find someone else to keep the momentum going. Come on. Uh, about to lose it. Oh, I'm surprised I paid the other one. If you don't play the game, you probably don't know what's going on, but I did a lot of cool stuff just now. A lot of parries I shouldn't have gotten. Ooh, missed that one. 40? That man hit me for 40? back and pick up one of those uh, help things I saw. Actually, I can start brushing now that I got hit. If I get to like the next um, level in two minutes or defeat 30 enemies without getting hit, I get a, a little extra reward. But since I got hit, I can... Uh, Time now. I have not used the sword yet, but I don't think it's good. Let me see. Oh, this looks cool. Shoot, but I just upgraded the red stat, not the green stat. I have to stick for the red one for now. Only because I've already invested points into the red. Yeah, and there's a red weapon there, too. Ooh, what? I rolled. I'm getting lit up. Okay. Toxic sewers. Go back here. Health item in the beginning. So I don't have this game on the console, um, but I think it looks great on the Retroid screen. But it doesn't look—it doesn't look too graphically demanding, though. To be fair. I'm gonna stay with upgrading brutality. I think brutality so far been my favorite weapons. I haven't unlocked too many of the other ones yet, so maybe once I get more. Ooh, I did like the Nutcracker. That was a green item, or green weapon, and it was just a really big, slow hammer. I used that to beat the first, like my first boss. What is it? I thought it was going to unlock a weapon or something. It was like a chicken on his face. Okay. Just make sure I got everything before I leave. Uh, 
I don't like buying things in the first gnome. I'll wait to the next one. How do I get down there? You see on the mini-map in the bottom right, there's some more stuff. Oh, I just unlocked this ability. I can now teleport with these. Got that ability last night. So it's my first time even coming this far. I have not been following the story that much in this. I'll just uh, leave that up to the YouTubers to explain this to me later. Oh, got a little outfit. Whoa, that's new. I don't know how this works. Okay. Oh, did I waste that key? Okay, I've never been on this side yet. I'll call it. Oh, that's DLC. Why they trick me? Oh, no! <laughs> no! No! I'm getting killed by stationary plants. Okay, let me leave before I get eight. Yeah, I, if I would have gotten here in two minutes and 30 seconds, I would have gotten a reward. Oh no, just two minutes. Two minutes and 30 enemies, I mean. 150 for a costume? I'm coming in at only like 10 at a time. Look at this one. I miss buying the cheapest ones first. I want to get all the weapons eventually. Let's see how this one works. Iron Staff. First hit allows the parry. And critical hit, so I don't need the shield anymore then. Since I'm at the beginning of the game, I'm always going to get this one. It allows me to come back to life after I die once. Then I'll probably get the one where I get 2% of my health back if I parry a melee attack successfully. I think I, I, think I unlocked that mutation. Oh, almost got hit. Oh. I'm not a fan of platforming in this, though. I'm just not good at it. 2D platforming. Uh, I'm not good at that compared to 3D platforming. Okay, I'm all noticing some frame drops right now. But that might be because I'm... Like, I don't have that on when I'm playing on the Retroid itself. It's so maybe because I'm cast... I have it plugged into the screens making it lag a little bit There's no input lag though mm, yeah this doesn't look as good as me just playing it in my hands Ooh, I tried to parry that Shoot, try to parry that guy too. Oof, okay. Yeah, he has messed me up. I might need to play this. Ooh, 50%. Um, handheld mode. I'll get back up there. No, that health. I can't go back.
No! I'll have to, do I even unlock a teleport over there yet? There's one, okay. I'll go back eventually. Unless... Oh, go this way. I need to learn the timing of this iron rods. Perry, 50%. Um, so I should save that. Not at 50% yet. Yeah, now I need that thing. Oh, what was that? Why did fire go down? Victims burn when they die. Okay. Ooh. Teleporter. So I'm gonna go back <laughs> so I can get that. 50% health. Um, this is a terrible run so far. No, oh, wait, what's that? No, I can't get to that. I saw those little daggers. No, I rolled into that. I'm about to get eat up. Oof. Use my only health potion there. It's just to take. I was. I keep trying to pairing with the with the staff. I'm used to the shield. Am I doing it right? The first hit, right? Yeah, first hit. Okay. The timing not the same as me doing this with the shield. Or is it? Maybe the animation just throwing me off. I do like this one. I turned into like a chicken from uh, guacamole. Like this. Which I imagined from the inspired from the guacamole game. I played the first one. Well, I beat the first one. I started the second one. I didn't finish the second one though. Actually, yeah, I played the second one on stream, I think, when it first came out. Ooh, I don't think I deserve that pair. I can't go up here yet. I imagine at some point I'll get an ability where I can wall jump. Open any of these doors yet either. The Nutcracker, I really like this one. If I didn't already put so many points into red, I would pick this up. Is that better than what I have right now? Yes, that's a four, I have a three. Wasted all my money though.
green. I don't like either of those. Well, here I'm not using a grenade. I'll pick this one up. Forming section. there yet. Oh, I forgot I have the shield where if I parry it, I get free money. Shoot, I should have been using that the whole time. Thirty enemies without dying. That's what that location means. Oh, and I was gonna say I got I hit thirty enemies without getting hit, and I immediately lost them. They should have told me. I was better when I was didn't know. This might be the end of the run here. Can't go any further, that recalls the wall jump. I can see on the map. So I have to go this way. Oh! If I didn't have that thing, I would have died right there. A little toxin saved my life. Let me just play it safe and get out of here. My uh, 25, one of these things called, oh, dead cells. <laughs> so, so I keep my currency here. Yeah, I was not completing that one. Um, what are these general upgrades? I think I'm gonna get this one because I am running into a lot of stuff I'm just leaving behind because I don't want it. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna get the lowest costing item every time I walk my way up from there. Unless I see something really good. Alright, upgrade. Okay. Yeah, this one. 2% of my health back on a parry. Yeah, 
and I'm gonna upgrade my staff. Or should I save my money for the shop in the next bio zone? In a what is it called? Biome zone? I don't know what they call it in this game. Actually, I'm gonna save my money for the next the next area in case there's a shop. I'm surprised I made it this far. Usually die I die in the second zone. Especially with this new weapon I got. It's my first time using it. I am, when I play this game, I do feel the urge to like quick save like I do with my emulation games. Um, and I'm sad that I cannot. I mean, I guess that's the whole point of a roguelike, to not be able to do that. What was this? What do you want me to do? No, oh, he's dead. No enemies here? That's nice. Please give me a red weapon. Oh, okay, yes, I'll take that. Well, the DPS is... close range. Hmm. I'm not seeing the benefit here. Well, here, I'll take this one. No, 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 here. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'll leave the shield behind. Since I can parry with the staff already. Just so I can have a rain option. A range option. This will force me to learn the parry for the staff. Okay, I'm just a, oh, wait. Okay, if I parried him right there, I will not even try. Can't parry range weapons, so that's why I ran away. Okay, I'm getting a feel for it. This has piercing properties. Oh, I did not read the the sub ability at the bottom there. Okay, yeah, it is really good then. I'm obviously looking at the damage. Am I looking at the little attributes at the bottom? I wonder if it pierced through shields. Nope. Hurry up. Okay, I'm getting the parry down a little bit with this weapon. Unless it's really just the same. I do like that pierce. I wonder what the game considers close for me to get the critical damage. Let me climb first. Whoa, 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 why? I didn't know he could hit that fast. I thought it was a long charge attack and like a delay, but he hit me twice. <gasps> I tried to parry that. I'm trying again. There we go. Well, I was doing so well. 50% of my health is gone. Get 
down there. Oh, I forgot about my abilities. I need to... <laughs> I parried that without even trying. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go, yeah. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting a feel for it. Hope it's safe. I got really lucky. further do I got? Oof, I might, oh my goodness, I might not make this. Where's, where's the end? All the way over there. I can't go down there yet. Don't have that ability. Okay, that was not critical range. Frostbite. Oh, what hit me right there? I gotta use my healing. I'm trying to get down. Alright. That's my only one. No, I missed my hit. Sometimes moving really fast from you get a boost for getting multiple kills in quick succession, and it gives you a speed boost. But that speed boost messing me up some. I'm trying to get the hang of it. Oh, shoot. <gasps> I was in the animation. I tried the roll. I saw it coming. I am so disrespectful to those archers. I don't even really see them as a threat. I don't really want to give those enemies a chance to attack like I had the time I missed that dodge. Oh! <gasps> he didn't notice me. I never get the chance to like buy more health. What we got here? Better tonic or the slicer. I cannot say no to the slicer. Okay, I can't go down there. I don't have the wall jumping ability. But there's no teleport. They want me to walk all the way back up to the top. Usually they would have put a teleport pad right there. I know it looks like I have a lot of health. 
but I could probably only afford to get hit two, three times. I don't even know why they give us all this health they do so much damage. Thought my little parry was gonna work right there. I got really lucky. Well, that's it for me. <gasps> no. Oh wait, I, st I still have the little thing where I can come back to life once per run. Oh, whoa, 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 I wasn't expecting this many. That was just those two. I know I could just skip these sections right here and go straight to the next level, but I can't resist getting more items. And it might be a health potion down here, who knows? There wasn't. Okay, how much further? Okay, last little section here. I might skip all these though. Oof, well, yeah, let me see. I'll use both my items here. If they don't kill them all, I'll leave. Oh, what was, what was that? What was that? What's this? What did I just get it with? I've never seen that before. A little fireballs? I've never seen that attack before. Maybe because that was an elite enemy. But, uh... <gasps> no! Time to go. Alright. I don't know what that move was. I have, I have not seen that. <laughs> One more hit and I'm a dead man. But I'm still gonna rush through it. Come on, I can make it. Is that it? Am I free? I made it. Now I can die to the boss. Do some dignity. Oh yeah, it's it's real nice, uh, Apple fanboys. Um, go further back into the stream, maybe like 30, 40 minutes ago. I was streaming um, Simpsons Hit and Run. In the beginning, I was playing. I was playing it at 50% uh, resolution, but near the end of that little section, I bumped it up to 100%, and it was still working just fine. And it looked great. I'm really surprised how much this can handle. Alright. I'm just gonna work my way up. What's up here? Gold. I better have more weapon options right now. Oh, and this is the cheapest one. I'll get that and then I'll get the gold. Critical hit, 
I can't read, it's moving too fast. Pretty quick, the target has three or more arrows stuck on his body. Hmm. Compared to what I have right now. Critical hit at close range. I'm gonna take the new one quick though. Yeah, it is nice. That's a lot of arrows. Oh my goodness, okay, yeah, that was, <laughs> that's definitely better. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade both of these before I get into the boss as well. Reforge this one. Maybe I get better modifiers. What does that mean? Fire 1% of HP recovered per attack. Plus 100% damage taken. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. No. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. That is no, 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 no. So I take double damage, but I recover 1% if I hit him. Well, I don't, I don't believe in myself that much. I, oh, no, 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 no. Take this back. Can you take this back, please? I would have liked that earlier in the run, but not now. I'm not. I'm about to go double arrows just to be safe. I can't play with that. Now I have a whole modifier that's worthless. You're trying to give me a kill out here. So I'm gonna take off. I gotta reset. And that parry. That parry one is worthless to me now. Well, it doesn't hurt. I only can select one. I imagine. Well, I wonder. It's okay, I'm probably gonna die anyways. I'm gonna reset it. I wonder if I can buy two now. For oh yeah, I can get two. Okay, so that was smart. Okay, I'm get this one. Anything else help me with my arrows? Could we reduce cooldown by 0.3 seconds? That's good because I'll be getting critical hits nonstop. With this arrow of mine. Set it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get that one. This one. Alright, see if I can do it. Unfortunately, I the uh, I'm really good at parrying the boss. But now I can't parry him, so this is my first time fighting this boss without a shield to or weapon they pair you. But I did not want to take double damage. That man would kill me. I, I have a really hard time telling the difference between his regular attack and his fire attack. They, the arm movement is almost it's similar. There's a slight difference, but I sometimes I don't react fast enough. Okay, here we go, here we go. Hey, what man was gone? When I was shooting the air. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Oh, because we're getting destroyed by this little shield thing, maybe? Some of this. Ah, oh, man. No. Ah, it's that little shield of his. I can't dodge it pr properly. I need. I need a shield. 
Almost close. Almost, almost got it. All right. Um, that went long. Went longer than I thought. I'll end the stream here. Um, yeah. Like I said at the beginning, me and Japan are really busy right now, so that's why we have not been streaming as much as we used to. I just was streaming, decided to stream today just to make people, let people know we're still here. And we haven't forgot about the channel, we'll get back in streams eventually. Um, so yeah, thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll see you, uh, see you next time.